Hello everyone, good morning. Today I would like to talk about control net stack, in particular for SDXL. In my previous video, we went through how to use control net union promax released by Xincir, which at the moment is one of the best for SDXL. It's not the best among all of the stable diffusion models because in my opinion, the stable diffusion 1.5 still have the best models so far, but for SDXL it's the best. So obviously sometimes we will have to rerun the model more than once forgetting what we actually want, but I feel we are going in the right direction. If you are new to ControNet Union, you may want to have a look at the video I made last week. Otherwise, we can go directly into ConfUI and I can show you my workflow for running ControNet stack, meaning that you can uh, use more than one ControNet uh, conditioning at the same time. In the last video, indeed, we were using ControNet Union Pro Max, but we were using it with just one ControNet. I'm going to share this workflow we are going to use on my Patreon for free. So in case you need it, I will leave the link in the description of the video. Okay, here we have uh, our ConfUI initialized. This is my workflow. I'm using Blue Pencing Excel from CVTI. This is the, the model. And I'm using the description or better the settings from this picture in here. So I just, uh, you know, copied the values and then pasted in ConfUI. And then this is gonna be my positive prompt. Actually, uh, this is exactly the same as the one you just seen in Blue Pencil. So we need to change something probably based on the input image I'm going to use for my control net. So let's go straight first into that. So let's go down. This is my image from Pexels. It's exactly the same picture I was using in my previous video. So based on that, I'm going to choose the empty latent image. So I'm going to use the width of 1024 and a height of 2048 based exactly on the dimension, on the resolution of this image. So based on that, I'm going to adjust my prompt and I'm going to use exactly the same negative prompt as the one we just saw in the blue pencil Excel. For SDXL anyway, the negative prompt is not that important. Just keep that in mind. Now let's go into control net. So this is our input image and that's fine. We are going to pre-process this image to create a mask, a mask that will be used to create the final image or better, it will be used as a conditioning to create our final image. So this means that it's going to, depending on the control net model we are using, it's going to take as a reference in this case, this position for this person and it's going to create a person or whatever in that position. Now, I have three preprocessors here. They are from ConfUI Art Venture. And keep in mind that you can use more than three. You can use as many as you want. I'm going to use three for now. I link to that the preview image so we can see actually the mask generated. And then, ta-da, I have the multi control net stack. This is the new node we have in this video. It's from Configure Studio. So if you don't have it, you need to download it. And in here, you can, you see, use more than control net. In this case, you can use three. You can decide which one to use. So in this case, I have connected all of the control net preprocessors, meaning that for generating the image, ideally I'm going to use, or I want to use, all of the three masks together. So they are, the three of them are linked. However, you can still decide within this control net stack if to use image one, image two, or image three, or all of them, or just two of them, by switching on and off this button. So for example, in this case I have switch one on, switch two on, switch three off. This means I'm going to use only image one and image two. Then we have the control net model we want to use for each mask. And in this case, we are using the Promax from Syncir. I can also put it here. It doesn't matter because I'm not using this at the moment. And then you have the control net strength, which is quite important because it gives more or less weight to the mask you're using. So. This weight goes from 0 to 1, 
you can also use the higher the one, but I wouldn't suggest. So if the strength is zero, it means it's not going to use much of this mask. If the control net strength is one, it's going to use the full mask when generating the image. These are the most important settings for the control net stack. As I said before, you can use more than one. So in case you have more control net preprocessors in here, what you can do, you can just copy and paste and add a control net stack, add the preprocessed images in here and just, you know, do that and connect this control net stack instead to the next node. So you can actually also remove this node here. Now I'm not showing you exactly where it's going, but you will remove that. You connect it to this one and then you connect just this one here to the next node. And then you're going to choose the different settings for this control net stack as well. Now I'm going to remove it because not relevant for me now. Now make sure that the <laughs> switch one correspond actually to open post because in my case I just noted that they are <laughs> kind of messed up. So the first one I want to be open post. The second one should be depth and the third one should be image three. Cool. We need to connect, we need to link this control net stack to something. If you don't know, usually you can do this and then some options will appear. So in our case, it's uh, this uh, CR Apply Multi Control Net, which is from ConfuI Roll Studio. Again, it's not the usual uh, Apply Control Net. I have it here already. So you're going to connect this into here. So from here, you have the positive prompt from the Eclipse Text Encoder and the negative prompt as input. And obviously the Control Net stack. And then you have the output connected to the usual case sampler. Again, the settings are those from the base model. And then this is connected to the variational of the encoder. Also very important is that this switch should be on, otherwise control net is not gonna be applied. And it's quite useful when you have more than one control net stack. Anyway, so this is uh, the, the result for my model is not exactly what I would like to have because I'm using this depth mask as well, which it's not ideal in this case, uh, but yeah, this is just to give you a little bit of an overview. Also in this picture, she's kind of floating. Probably depth wasn't the best for, for this picture. Or maybe the optimal solution, if you want to use depth, will be to use on, but to reduce the weight to 0.2 or something like that. And that's it for today. I hope this was useful. I, I know many people ask me about this uh, continent multi stack uh, for SDXL. It was a very quick video. It was an early morning for me. You probably know this from my voice. Thank you very much for watching. See you at the next video. Bye.